How's it going gamers? You got hands here and today in Dauntless we're going over a ridiculous meme build that's straight up a speed running build so you can collect materials as fast as possible so you can get all those great tonics and pylons and all that other awesome stuff that you can get from the NPCs. What's really great about this build is that it's just supremely fast. It's kind of a little bit too fast because sometimes you're just flying across the material and you don't even grab it. But hey, you'll get a little bit of practice and you'll know when to push the button so you can grab your mats. So maximizing or power surging your armor or having max cells really isn't that important. This build is just based around increasing your movement speed so you save time while you're collecting materials. So therefore, use what cells you have. If it's a plus one or f plus two, that's fine. Just use what you have because it'll still increase your movement speed and you'll still save some time collecting materials. So you know what's coming up next. Turn on your system, grab your strike sword, and let's get ready. We're about to get in this video right now, gamers. What is up, gamers? I'm sure you're excited to hop into speed running material farming build, so let's do it. First, grab your Shrike Sword, which is pretty dope-tastic. It's a beautiful looking sword. It does have conditioning in it, which we really don't need, but it's nice to have just in case you're flying around and hovering on your glider. You're going to throw a Swift Cell in there and another Swift Cell. The special does not matter, neither does the mod. For the Omni Cell, that does not matter as well because we're not going to be fighting any behemoths. The Lantern, however, is Shrike's Zeal because it increases your movement speed. So we're going to go ahead and use that and throw an Etheric Tumen in there to recharge that just a little bit faster. The Headpiece is Scraves and you're going to put a Grace Cell in there. The chest piece is Ember Mains and you're going to put a Sprinter Cell. And the Arms are Karabax and you're going to put another Sprinter Cell in there. And the Legs are Shrike Down Greaves, which are Shrikes, and you're going to throw a Fleet Footed Cell. So as you can see, we have a plus six conditioning, which like I said, is not important unless you're hovering around on your glider, but that is really great to have some extra stamina because it's just nice. Fleet footed increases our movement speed after a dodge. So make sure to dodge while you're running around to increase your movement speed even more. Grace increases our movement speed in general. And after sprinting, it gains attack speed, but we don't really need that. So you don't have to worry about that part. It's just about the movement speed. Sprinter also increases our movement speed and decreases our sprint cost, which really isn't that important. But the movement speed part is. And then we have Swiss, which increases our movement speed even more while your weapon is sheathed, which means while you don't have it out and when you're not using it, you keep it sheathed and put away for increased movement speed. We talked about Etheric Tumint that is increasing our lantern recharge so we can possibly use it as much as possible while we're running around collecting materials. Evasive Fury is not important, it's just in the build. So as you can see, we have a pretty solid build of just great, great movement speed. And this is only made for you to run around and collect materials within the hunting grounds so you can get your tonics that you need or whatever else you want to get like your pylons. But remember, this is not a build that you're going to fight anything with because then you'll be fighting forever and you're just going to die anyways. Alright gamers, that's all I got for you today. Hey, if you like this video and you want to see more, please don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button and click on that bell for notifications. If you're looking for help in Dauntless, join us in Discord. That invite link will be in the video's description and in the comments. Alright, this is Hans signing off. Peace, y'all.